Hello, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Now we are going to see our interview questions based on data structure. Our first question is what is data structure? Data structure is nothing but a group of data elements grouped together under one name. The data elements are called as members and they can have different types and different length. Some of them store the data of same type while the others store different types of data. Here if you see A, B and C are of the same data type that is of type int. So we can assign it in a single declaration function as int abc. This is known as data structure. Our next question is, which data structure is used to perform recursion? Data structure used for recursion is stack and stack uses Last in first out property that helps to remember its caller. It helps to know the data which has to be returned when the function has to return. Stack is used for storing the return addresses of the function calls. Here if you see the value of x is stored to be 3 and after the execution the value is returned to be 3. So that is done using the structure called stack. These kind of questions are highlighted in interviews of Tech Mahindra and TCS. Let us move on to our next question. The question is, does the minimal spanning tree of a graph give the shortest distance between any two specified nodes? The answer is, no, it doesn't. Minimal spanning tree assures that the total weight of the tree is kept minimum and it doesn't imply that the distance between any node any two nodes involved in the minimum spanning tree is minimum. Weight has to be kept minimum. So that is meant by minimal spanning tree. These type of questions are asked in the interview of Wipro and Verizon. Let us see our next question. The question is differentiate between push and pop. A pushing and popping refers to the way data is stored into and retrieved from a stack. Push is nothing but you are going to add the data to the stack. In this case 1, then 2, then 3. Pop is nothing but the data is being retrieved from the stack. And this goes in the technique of last in first out. Last your 3 was added into your stack. And hence the thing that comes out first that is the popped out first will be 3, then 2 and 1. So that is meant by push and pop. Our next question is, when is a binary search algorithm best applied? It is best applied to search a list when the elements are already in order or stored. The list here is searched starting in the middle. So if you see your binary search, your list is searched in the middle. And if the middle value is not the correct one, then the lower or the upper half is searched in a similar way. So this will take only a minimal amount of time by using your mid, low and high method. These kind of questions are highlighted in Cape Gemini and other IT firms interviews. Our next question is, how do you reference all the elements in one dimension array? The answer is 
it is done using an index loop the counter runs from 0 to the array size minus 1 because your starting is from 0 so the reference of all the elements can be done by using this 0 and until the length of the array so the loop counter as the array subscript helps in referencing all the elements of the array in one dimensional array here if you see the loop goes on with the pointer moving over here as the array number increases Our next question is what is Fibonacci search the answer is Fibonacci search is a search algorithm that applies to a sorted array it uses the divide and conquer approach it reduces the time needed to reach the target of the element so this is meant by Fibonacci search you use the divide and conquer approach these type of questions are highlighted in IT firms like Tech Mahindra and TCS Our next question is which data structure is applied when dealing with a recursive function the answer is while using a recursive function it calls itself based on a terminating condition hence it uses the stack data structure your stack has LIFO that is last in first out as its technique so a call to the recursive function serves the return address so this tells the return address to the calling function after the call terminates in this case this is an example of a factorial where you will be storing the values in the stack as they come so it will finally return the value of the fact n to be 120 using your stack data structure as you can see it will return 120 over here our next question is how does dynamic memory allocation help in managing data a dynamic memory allocation helps to store simple structured data types it can combine separately allocated structured blocks to form a composite structure that expand and contract as required so the dynamic memory can expand and contract as required during the runtime these kind of questions are highlighted in Wipro, iGate and other IT firms our next question is what is a bubble sort and how do you perform it the answer is bubble sort is a sorting technique which can be applied to the data structures like arrays and here the adjacent values are compared and the positions are exchanged if they are out of order the smaller value bubbles up to the top of the list while your larger value sinks to the bottom so if you see over here a largest value will be 8 and it sinks to the bottom on gradual evaluation of each numbers from 1 to 1 so this way you can perform your bubble sort by exchanging the numbers by popping up and pushing them down Our next question is you want to insert a new item in a binary search tree how would you do it our answer is let us assume that you want to insert a number which is unique first of all we have to check if the tree is empty if it is empty then you can insert the new item in the root node else if it is not empty then you have to refer to the new items key if the data to be entered is smaller than the roots key then insert it to the roots left subtree otherwise insert it to the right subtree so here in this case 1 
is less than the root hence it is taken up and this is less than 4 hence it is taken up and it is less than 2 hence it is taken up so in this procedure you have to insert a number into a binary search tree these kind of questions are highlighted in IT firms like first, to first source Our next question is why is empty member method called is empty member method is called during your DQ process it helps in ascertaining if there exists any item in the queue which needs to be removed this method is called by the DQ method before returning the front element that is stored Our next question is, what is a queue? Our answer is, a queue refers to a sequential organization of data. It works on FIFO, that is first in first out procedure, type data structure in which an element is always inserted in the last position and any element is always removed from the first position. Here if you see put A, put B and put C followed by get A and get B then we are putting D and E and F and G in the front as the queue grows the elements are added to the back of the queue and when you want to pop out an element the DQ is done from the front portion so this is how a queue works these kind of questions are highlighted in IT firms and Oracle. Our next question is what is DQ? DQ is nothing but a double ended queue. The elements here can be inserted or removed from either end that either from the front end or the back end. So that is known as DQ. Our next question is, what is a postfix expression? It is an expression in which each operator follows its operands. Here, there is no need to group sub expressions in parenthesis or consider operator precedence. Here, you just like that go with each operator and operands and perform the operations in the order. If you see over here, we have our operation as A, then 1, followed by 2, it is a plus operator, so add 1 and 2, then B, multiply B value is 2, hence 6, plus A, that is 7, 7 and 3, then minus, so 7 minus 3 will give your final answer to be 4. These kind of questions are highlighted in IT firms like Sansa. Our next question is how to find the middle element of a linked list in one pass. So to find the length of the linked list we need to first traverse through the linked list till we find the last node and it will be pointing to null since it's the last node. And then in second pass, we can find the middle element by traversing only half of the length. So this is how we can find the middle element of the linked list. Our next question is, we have to write a Java program to sort an array using bubble sort algorithm here we have the sort method to be a private static method with the name sort em and it is passed with an array as the object we need a temporary storage area when we want to store hence we are using an intemp and the logic behind is 
swapping the numbers when they are smaller if you see over here this will be r a r j and a r j plus 1 since your a r j plus 1 is less we are swapping it and the simple swapping logic is what we are doing over here using a temp value so a of j value is stored to the temp a of j plus 1's value is stored to a of j and the temp value that is stored which is having the previous a of j value is stored in a of j plus 1 so that is the logic that is applied over here a simple swapping logic using a condition if a of j is greater than a of j plus 1 these kind of questions are highlighted in it firms such as mind tree and emphasis our next question is what is the difference between stack and queue data structure stack data structure does the insertion and deletion operations in the same end whereas your queue does the insertion and deletion operations at different end in stack an element which is inserted last is first to delete so the last in will be the first out whereas in case of queue an element which is inserted first is the first to delete so first in will be the first out a next question is what is the difference between singly linked list and doubly linked list data structure the main difference between singly linked list and doubly linked list is its ability to traverse in a singly linked list the node points towards the next node and there is no pointer to the previous node which means you can't traverse back on a singly linked list so that makes your doubly linked list a much more advantages as it has it can traverse in reverse as well these kind of questions are highlighted in it firms such as tech mahindra and tcs a next question is what is a binary search tree the answer is binary search tree is a binary tree in which each internal node x stores an element such that the elements stored to the left of the subtree are lesser or equal to x so here our x is 5 and the elements to the left of 5 are lesser or equal to 5 1 2 and 4 are less than 5 and the elements to the right of the subtree of x are greater than or equal to x here 10 and 8 is greater than 5 so This is known as a binary search tree which enables us searching faster. These kind of questions are highlighted in IT firms such as Mastech. Thank you so much for joining GTech on data structures interview questions.